Hi there, and welcome back to Morrigan's Cottage, or welcome to if it's your first time. Morrigan's Cottage is a 200-year-old traditional Irish cottage set on four acres of land in the west of Ireland. I'm Ashling. this is my dog Morrigan and my cat Banya, and together we're trying to bring this old house back to its former glory, show it a little bit of love, bring back some of its original features, and just in general make it into a nice and loving home for us. We're also working really hard to get this four acres of land back to a biodiverse heaven and in the future hopefully we'll have some donkeys some more dogs and chickens and hens and pigs you name it we hope to have it but i hope you enjoy morrigan's cottage and that you follow along the journey hello good afternoon uh welcome back to morrigan's cottage it is sunday afternoon we have just gotten down to the cottage a little bit later again uh didn't sleep great last night either uh, so we came down a little bit later today, but just giving Morgan some lunch since we just got here. I've already let Bonnie outside. And if you're wondering why are you dressed in the same clothes as yesterday? Well, we are painting again, so important to have the same clothes on. Um, but I'm just going to give Morgan some chicken and then we're going to get painting again on the wall. We're having another nice day today. I think it's supposed to rain later. So we want to get out and get painting as soon as possible. But let me just show you what we did yesterday. Uh, what do you think? I was looking at colours online um, for the top and I think I have one picked. So we got to go get that. Probably not today. We'll probably get that. Uh, I might order it and then maybe pick it up tomorrow. It's in Athlone. Um, so it's quite a drive away but it was the closest place that would mix the colour paint that I want, so we'll have to drive there. It's about an hour and a half away. Uh, but plan is, so we have to do the opposite side of this wall, so we're gonna get that done, but I think it looks really good. And then we're gonna do, sorry, that's the tripod. We're gonna do as much as we can along the rest. Um, obviously this wall here isn't in great condition, um, but to be honest with you now, I'm not going to be spending too much time trying to fix it up. I'm just going to have it painted white and the cracks and the missing concrete and whatever can be addressed at a later time because I'm not even sure that we're keeping this wall. Um, it's kind of falling over. Like, it's not falling over, but it is crooked. Um, so it might be going. So we're not going to put too much money into uh, fixing it up too much. We're just going to paint it so it looks a little bit better. But I think that looks really good. Um, I was worried last night that maybe it was too white. But I think when we get the blue on top, it'll break it up a bit. Um, obviously, we still need to do a second coat. But um, if we can get one coat along all the wall. And then see how much paint we have left, I'd call that a win. So that's what we're up to today. This is what we're doing now. Are 
finish your bow. So I had to stop recording for a second because a group of Americans walked by. There was like six American people just randomly, like we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, and six Americans just walked by. But let me show you what we've done so far. So this is what we've done. Just the two pillars. It's only been about 45 minutes. Hang on, I'm going to show you the Americans. They're up there. They're just out for a stroll. Morgan was barking at them. She's like, beware, this is my house. But yeah, what do you think? Oh God, big dirty clouds are coming in. Let's hope they're not bringing rain. I think the white looks so good. Um, we're about to do this wall here now. You helping your mama? You are so good at helping mommy. Be careful, the paint is all wet. It's like just too dark to wear sunglasses, but just too bright to not wear sunglasses. Does anyone else feel me on that? Where are my light eyed? Some sensitive people. I'm going to turn you around for a second because uh, there's big dirty clouds coming in and we're just going to hope that they're not carrying any rain. So let me show you. Okay. I mean, they do kind of look like they might be carrying a bit of rain. But fingers crossed it just blows over. <laughs>
that I felt a drop of rain, but hopefully I did not. So we've been at the painting for about ooh, two hours, I'd say, maybe less. It uh, feels like longer. <laughs> um, but let me show you first what the weather's looking like, because that's going to determine what we do next. And second, the finished product of for right now, because I've run out of the paint that I had um, in the painting thing. Lots of paint left, but just in the little painting thing. So I'm like, mm, do we continue or do we wait and see if it's going to rain? Uh, but let me show you. So this is the current weather, definitely not inspiring a tan, and this is what we've done. So obviously we did this yesterday, and the back of that today, or yesterday even. Um, so this was done yesterday, it still only has one coat so it will be better when it's got two. Um, just to come out and show you what we've done. So we've done this pillar here, and now we've done this wall here. I think we stood over here and took a photo, so what do you think? Improvement? Not an improvement? I think it's an improvement. I think it's going to look really nice with the blue, but anyway, this is, uh, this is where we're stopping for right this second. Uh, because like I said, it kind of... Looks like maybe it's going to rain, um, so there might not be much point continuing. Um, it's a bit patchy, but once we get a second coat on and I'll have a bigger brush, it'll look a lot better. Um, but the back of this wall here is done and obviously the top is done in one coat. So ideally I would like to get this one done. Um, so that like this whole area could be finished um but yeah it's just it's weather dependent uh it is a long weekend so if the weather's nice we'll come back down tomorrow uh we're not going home yet by any means but just um yeah this is this is where we're at right now mari's not usually allowed out here so she's enjoying it but let me just show you the vibes of today i don't think i ever really show you over here so i'm pretty sure this field here belongs to the neighbours as well and like the fields behind it um, I don't know who owns this one I don't know if it's the little cottage up over in the corner um, Grant is the English guy that owns that one or if it's um, to the neighbours or if it's someone else completely I don't know who owns this one I actually don't really know who owns any of them um, but they're not being used a whole lot so I'm hoping like further into the summer they'll start getting used but this is the vibes right now. Um, as far as I know from looking at old maps, there used to be like a cottage here and there was a cottage here and there's, you know, the cottage up there and one on that side and one on the other side and one on the other side. Like there was a lot of cottages along here. Um, but obviously now there's just the one behind me, my one, Kitty's, on um, just as you come in and then just past Kitty's is like a bigger... A two-story house and that is um her son lives there but yeah this is this is what we've done so far today and uh, i think we'll give the painting a break for a few minutes anyway and see how we feel another little project i kind of want to get done um this weekend sorry it's very windy is and i'll turn it around in a sec to show you but i'd like to get more access to kind of down into the next part of the garden and I'll turn the camera around and show you in just a second but I think I'm gonna cut a hole in 
the fence that they have at the moment. Now they had that fence because there was like an arena. Um, but let me show you, I'll turn you around. Okay, so obviously this whole area is the main garden. And then just past this fence here is what they used as their horse arena, which made sense because the stables are just to the left. Um, and then they used this area here for their horses, uh, which is why it's fenced off. Ideally, my plans are is that I'm going to bring the fence around this boundary line and then fence it off along the stables. So we'll have the gates still there to go into the stable area. There will be a wall or a fence going down separating veggie patch from stable area. So that will be sectioned off, like imagine it along there. There's a gate to go in there and then there'll be a gate to go in there. But then this area, stables, and then imagine a fence just going kind of along here so that you can bring animals out of the stables and down to the fields, but they're fenced off from what will be the larger garden area. Um, so anyway, that is the plan. But what I want to do at the moment, and I'll turn you around and show you in just a sec. So to get to that area, you have to go out and around. Now the bees are just over there and hopefully we'll have them sorted shortly. Um, I do have a beekeeper who's interested in coming to try and catch them safely and rehome them, but it is a bit of a hassle having to walk out and around. And I know that sounds very lazy, um, but since this fence is gonna be getting removed and moved anyway, I'm kind of thinking I might cut a hole in this one um, and then have that kind of easy access into the next area. So. Unfortunately, I was taking a look at it and it's long pieces of wood. Um, I thought maybe it would just be like from post to post, but it's like post to post. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a saw out and I'm going to just see if I can cut um, down the piece of wood. Now it is rotten, so I'm hoping it'll be an easy removal. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll cut here on each of them and then try remove it from the other post. So that's the plan. I'll get the tripod and set you up now in a sec, as long as it doesn't start raining. If it starts raining, we'll um, go inside. You okay, sweetie? Someone is having a bit of an odd day today. She had a bit of an odd day yesterday as well, but that's okay. We're allowed to have our little odd days. Okay, we'll see if this works and if I'm strong enough to do it. I might not be. very nervous about my ears now since I hurt them the last week so I'll get this on I'm gonna go get the work gloves
two down. One to go. So that actually took way less time than I thought it would. Uh, it only took about 15 minutes. I'm like super strong now. And I can do all these things. Uh, but let me show you how it looks. What do you think about that? Hang on, let me go back to the house. So these two were just like, Mommy, do you know we're in here while you're out there? I do actually. So this is what it looks like now. It is directly opposite the door, which is nice. And yeah, I'm happy with it. So I can just literally walk right out. Oh, ease of access. It'll make it easier for when I'm mowing the lawn as well. That I can just go in and out without going around. And I know, I know it seems really lazy, so Please don't think I'm just the laziest person in the world, but it just makes sense to me that that was done. Um, and then the plan is, um, I, you can't really see it because this is also overgrown now. Um, oh, there's a bee around me. Um, there's a fence line just here, you can kind of see it. Now the fence is broken, um, but whew, a bug landed on me, Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but the plan is, is that that will all be cleared as well. Um, but the garden will come to here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this section here. Like, I feel maybe the poly polytunnel is going to go along here. Just because it gets quite a bit of shelter from the wind. Because of the, um, the next door neighbours have like big barns and stuff there. And there's obviously trees. Uh, so it'd be protected from the prevailing winds which come this way. Uh, it'd be reasonably protected from winds when they come this way because obviously uh, I've got my little tree block there. So that's kind of where I'm thinking I'm going to put it. And it's south facing sun so it'll get sun pretty much all day. And it will um, not be in the eye line because it's out of sight. Now it is quite a ways away from the veggie garden but that like I'm okay with that. Uh, it's a few steps, it's not a big deal. So I'm thinking maybe polytunnel is going to go along there. And like I said, that will kind of also be fenced off so that when animals come down along the pathway that I'm going to have here into that field, um, that will be, um, that'll be all kind of fenced off. So my thinking is it's going to pathway come down along here. You'll have the polytunnel there, but it'll be fenced off you'll come down to where the fence starts and then the idea is is that the split it's going to be split down the middle so you're going to have fields on this side and fields on that side um that's the plan anyway famous last words that's probably not what's going to happen but yeah i would love to bring the garden just out to here and then i'd love to have like a fire pit area here where you can like see the pond and like you're not too close to the house um so like a fire pit area kind of here with some nice seating um, and then like all along the fence I'd like to have like flowers and stuff um, but yeah that's kind of the thoughts at the moment on it. Um, successful. Oh hang on I wonder if you can see Morrigan. She's like do you know I'm here. <laughs> um, but yeah so anyway very successful moment there fence is done and eventually probably there'll be like a nice gate here oh actually there won't be anything there because the fence isn't going to be here so there's just going to be nothing here um but yeah that's that's the plan but i'm happy now we've got a bit of open access that i can just walk in and walk out and morgan will be happy so i'm gonna clean up the tools um it's getting a little bit late in the afternoon so I'm gonna have something to eat because we haven't eaten yet it's probably around half three now um but yeah we're slowly but surely making good progress and you can see the wall over here looks great oh the weather's turning it is supposed to be rainy for the afternoon so I'm gonna bring in 
paint and the bits that can't stay outside. And uh, we're going to have a spot of lunch, but delighted with everything we've got done so far. I think that looks really good. Bunny's getting ready to strike. Hang on. Go get her. <laughs> Sometimes they do this. You play? Go get her. Go get her. Jump up on the couch. Oh, kitty. <laughs> Get her. Get her. You gonna go get her? You gonna go get her? No, oh, no, having a drink instead. Oh, off they go. Go get her. Go on, you can get her. Where is she? Oh, she's hiding from you. Oh, she's hiding from you. Go get her. Go on, Morgan, you can get her. Here she comes. <laughs> Go get her. <laughs> We're all like, what was that? <laughs> I don't think I've ever caught on camera for you guys the girls playing. They play really well together. Um, for Kitty Catty and a Doggy Woggy. They were both five when I got them. Um, Banya was six months old when Morgan came. So they have grown up from babies together and they play really well together, but they don't often play well or play with each other. Um, and when obviously I live in my parents' house and there's a lot of us in my parents' house and they just don't have the space to run around and play. So it's really nice to see them running around and playing here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to bring you into the other room because we're going to get some work done. You girls are going to hang out in here. Okay, you can't come because it's going to be very noisy. I can't believe I got a suntan. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm really dark. Would you look at that? 